All right, guys, we were here at Stallworth and we were going to surf fish this morning and uh, south wind blew in a whole bunch of stuff. I know that doesn't look like a lot of grass, but our lines were out for just like three minutes and they were covered and it was pulling them in. So no, no surf fishing today. We got a plan B though, and we're gonna go head over that way and I'll see you there. All right, guys, we are back at our second spot. I went home and changed because I was soaking wet. Uh, we are at 331 Bridge. So we've got our sand fleas, we got fish bites, and uh, we've got our surf poles, which will help for casting way out there. Uh, there have been a lot of big redfish and big drum running around here. So hopefully uh, we can hook into a couple of those. So I'm gonna get our baits out there and we will get back with you as soon as the action starts. All right, you can see our setup here. We got four lines going out, all different directions. Uh, we got sand fleas, fish bites on this one, that one, and that one. Then this here, we got a big hunk of bonita. All right, guys, I was being rude. I forgot to introduce who we're with today. We got Chase and Trace. How's it going? Huh? All right, that's that's not a catfish. Oh, you got a drum, I think, or a redfish. Oh yeah. All right, we're hooked up. Yeah, reel this one in for sure. There you go, I'll give that one to you. Huh? Go under me. There you go, go this way. All right. If he's given line, take it, but just otherwise don't force them because those are small hooks. I think that's a drum. Woo, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. And if he's wear him out. Yep. If he's fighting you, don't pull. Just let him. All right. Is this gonna be your biggest saltwater fish? Yeah, good chance. There's a good chance. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just we're just gonna ease him in. Just let him. All right, he's getting closer. Let's see, where's he at? Where's he at? He's up close. Okay. Woo! Just take your time. Oh yeah, that's a beauty, man. Just, just easy. Let them. Oh, there we go. You got them. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right. All right, yeah. Let's that's... get a couple. Let's go put them on the grass so we don't get covered in sand. Man. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> on the chilling reel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. All right, we're gonna let the big beast go and hopefully catch another one. It's right. tough on the stalks right here. Yeah. There. All right. I think he is about ready. Let's see. Oh yeah. There he goes. Back to the depths. Woo. All right. He's tired. Yeah. <laughs> Feel you, buddy. Good job, man. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. That's swimming like a, well, swimming kind of fast for a cat. Yeah, it's a catfish. Shocker. You get it? All right, he might be good eating size. 
All right, Brad, here's your catching cook. Is he pulling drag? Oh, I thought he was pulling drag there for a second. Is he head shaking? Or does it just feel like another catfish? Felt like he pulled drag there. Yeah. Is it a big catfish? What in the? Uh, it's just another catfish. All right, I got enough for the catch and cook now. Oh yeah, please. Oh my God. Oh, God. You freaking idiot. Yeah, you're definitely getting fried. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, so it's it's happening now. Catfish catch and cook. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it here. So I'm not gonna let this catfish tear up another frisky fence rig. So uh, we're gonna load up and I will see you guys back at the cleaning table and in the kitchen. All right, guys, we got the hard heads here. They are on the ice and we are about to get them cleaned all right i haven't done a catfish probably filleted catfish since high school so i don't even know how to do god they're so bony bones all the way up here am i gonna get any meat off of it i guess that's why they're called hard heads huh let's see i guess i should have watched a video on how to filet I, I don't even know what I'm doing can I even get any meat off of that Jeez. Oh, all right there's got to be there we go all right now we're getting somewhere yeah this is probably the worst filet job you're ever gonna see on YouTube I guess it's a good thing I'm the only one eating this tonight. Because Michelle said she wouldn't eat it. All right. <laughs> There's the meat off the first one. Great. Well, the sword knife definitely got the job done. Just, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's doctor these up the rest of the way inside because it's really hot out here. And I'm worried what this meat is going to do. All right, guys. Uh, that's all the meat I got out of that. Out of two catfish. So I guess I should have kept a little bit bigger ones. But uh, I'm going to use Brock's recipe. He swears it'll make any fish taste good. <laughs> so you just use equal parts buttermilk and mustard. So I'm just going to put a bunch of mustard. Bunch of buttermilk. Okay, that looks about almost equal. And the thinking is the buttermilk and the vinegar and the mustard draws out a lot of that fishiness. So we will see. We're gonna let it go for about six hours. So now we got that mixed up. We're just gonna drop our fish in there. All right. I'll see you guys when it's time to fry this up. All right, it's tomorrow. Uh, I let the fish fillets soak in the mayonnaise and the mustard overnight. So I wanted to give it as much time as possible because I'm still a little scared about this. So uh, let's pull it out, uh, rinse all that off and see how the fillets look. Okay, not a whole lot of meat, so. This is probably gonna end up being fish tacos. But we should have enough to make some tacos. They're stained yellow from the mustard, so. Luckily, they'll be covered up by coating. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna do normal dredging and flour. Take off all the extra. Then we're gonna put it in the egg. Let the excess drip off. Then we're gonna put it in the breadcrumbs. Ah, 
All right, I mean, looking at that now, you wouldn't know it was catfish. All right, they're all breaded and ready. Let me get this cleaned up, we'll move on. Probably do, do it in two separate batches. We'll do these thick ones first, bigger ones first. There we go. All right, catfish is on. That's what frying's supposed to sound like. All right, last batch going in. I'm trying to decide if I should try bite now or wait until I got everything on it. Always gotta have a little slap your mama and garlic. All right, now I was gonna mix up a little sauce here too. Let me get a bowl. This Kensington sauce is real good, but it's not like spicy enough. I like it a little spicier, so put in a little mule sauce with it. Mule sauce has got some kick. That'll be enough. There we go. All right, and cheese, need cheese, need some cheese. All right, so let's, let's see, I guess let's get a little sauce on there. Do the sauce first. All right, let's get a couple pieces of fish. Coleslaw. This is my wife's cilantro and vinegar coleslaw. It's really good on fish. And top it off with some cheese. Okay. Here we go. Hardhead tacos. I couldn't taste. I couldn't taste fish. It wasn't fishy. I thought for sure. Let me try a bite by itself. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's pretty good. So as soon as I caught it, I bled it immediately and threw it in the ice slush. Um, when I got home, cut, filleted it, cut all the red meat out, soaked it in mayonnaise and mustard overnight. It, I mean, this just tastes like fish tacos. It doesn't taste like bad or anything. I'm shocked. All right, I'm gonna show I'm not impartial. I'm gonna get Michelle out here to try a bite and tell the truth. Be right back. Okay, she's here. She's gonna try it. Okay. It's not bad, is it? It's not fishy. All right, now I had to te I had to like really prove it to myself. So try a piece of it by itself. Just try a bite. I swear, it's not fishy at all. It's not bad. No, it's not fishy. It's edible, right? So it's not bad. It's See? Edible. It's like, I mean, I prefer sheep's head tacos or something like that, but I was really scared. I was expecting it to be like 
really bad, but. This tastes like fried fish. 